In Thailand, dishes vary almost endlessly. For more than a quarter century, Ja Rung has served Thai standards such as curry and fish. But the house specialty, the meal that brings diners from abroad, lurks in a dark corner beneath a sign reading, Dangerous. Like seaside diners that keep live lobsters handy for boiling, Ja Rung has a cage full of cobras. Cobra venom ranks among the world's most virulent poisons. One bite and a human can die in minutes. Yet to many Asians, the cobra's deadly nature makes it a potent meal. Ja Rung first viewed serving it as a way to do more business. Customers preferred something different than the regular duck, chicken and pork. As word of his menu spread, Ja Rung found his tables filling with customers from Hong Kong, Korea and Japan, where people believe cobras have medicinal powers. He wondered what the attraction was. I found a Chinese book mentioning that to prove the medicinal powers of a snake, take three cobras a week. I ate three snakes within seven days. I could feel the result even before the third one. I felt energetic, vigorous. My eyes were sharper and my aches were gone. Eventually, I didn't need my eyeglasses anymore. He'd stumbled onto a magic recipe. But there was a hitch. Cobra meat fanciers want to eat snakes that are fresh and ferocious. The hard part is filling orders, which puts Ja Rung in harm's way. He got so good at it, he became a minor celebrity. Steady customer Sambat Kungpadam is hungry for his favorite snake. But I used to have less hair, and since I've been eating snakes, my hair has grown back. So I got hooked. As often as seven times a day, Ja Rung risks death to keep his customers satisfied. Some believe the angrier the cobra, the stronger its medicinal properties. They say pumping blood enhances the power. When the blood is charging, the gallbladder is working hard. At the same time, the blood will flow through the flesh. When we cook the meat, it will be sweet and very delicious. Winded by exertion, the cobra has had enough. To outsiders, the process might seem cruel. But in many cultures, meat eaters never see the realities of the slaughterhouse. The killing happens far away, out of sight. Here, Ja Rung makes the appetizer, a tall glass of bile and blood. Ja Rung goes through 30 to 40 cobras a month, mostly for regular customers. To complaints of cruelty to cobras, Ja Rung says he honors the snake spirit by serving its meat to heal. Some people, when they have illnesses, traditional Thai or Chinese doctors will prescribe them snake. If those people are cured, I'm doing a good deed, saving their lives. 